Also, Erin, if you're watching this, do not come for me and the amount of skincare I have used up in the past couple months. Just, no. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. As you can tell from the title, we're doing an empties and products I'm decluttering. If you guys like this type of video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Also, I see we have some new subscribers, so hi. <laughs> That's all for the intro. Let's get started. We're going to start off with body care since I only have two items. The first one I have is a Kuro. Kuro? I don't want to say it. It is a, it's their Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. I have the 12 little ounces. It looks like this. This one I really liked. I've used this for me. I probably had this for over a year. I don't know how long you're, you're supposed to have it, but I've only had mine for about a year. And it works really well. This is, a, I have extremely dry skin, as I've mentioned before. This is the only moisturizer that actually leaves my skin moisturized and it leaves me moisturized for days after so highly recommend i think i'm gonna pick up another bottle i just only thing i wish or if i could change something about it is if it was like sweet scented it gives me more of like a lemony vibe but not really i don't know i like sweet scents so that's the only thing but yeah next up we have a mini size of the Ariana grande room perfume I think I used this within a month. It smells so good. It's one of my favorite perfumes by her. I have the other little mini one sitting over there. I'm going through them. But yeah, this one is really nice. Um, kind of sweet. Yeah, it's it's sweet. <laughs> I'm bad at describing perfumes, but it's kind of sweet. Not as sweet as sweet like candy, but I like this one. I would repurchase a full size of this one. Next up we have hair care. We have three items. The first item is the TJN Butter Cream Daily Moisturizer with Shea Butter and Vitamin E. Looks like this. Yeah, I use it all. I would use this after I wash my hair and I put oil in it. I'll use this too. Did not like this. It's so heavy. It made my hair flaky. It just, I don't know how I finished this up, but I did. Zero out of ten. This is only, this is one of the products by them that I don't like. Which is weird because they usually make really good products. This is, yeah, no, no, it's a no for me. Next up, we have my favorite shampoo and conditioner. This is the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Moisture Shine Hydrating Conditioner and the matching shampoo. They both look like they have a little bit in there, but I mean, I can try to get that out. We'll see. But yeah, I have two weeks. I'm surprised I don't have more. I run the, the conditioner more because I use it to condition my hair and to deep condition. Yeah, it leaves my hair smelling nice. It leaves my hair super soft. This is the only shampoo conditioner I've been using for the past three years, maybe. Eleven out of ten. <laughs> Go put this up. It's kind of expensive. It's like thirteen dollars per bottle. Eleven. Twelve dollars? I don't know. Eleven to thirteen dollars per bottle, but totally recommend. Now we're moving on to skincare. The first thing I have are some masks. This first mask is the Rise and Beauty Awaken mask. It's green tea like this um can i got these someplace in koreatown i don't know <laughs> yeah guys someplace in koreatown this is actually really good i do prefer the ns3 ones which i'm going to show you guys next but these are a really good mask my face feel very hydrated it didn't break me out or anything so i do like these and i would re repurchase but that being said i also have the ns3 this is a cucumber mask I like the Innisfree free ones more because they're usually cheaper. Don't know how much that mask costs. But these are also, I don't want to say they're biodegradable because I'm not sure. But they're made from plant fibers. But I think makes it biodegradable. But yeah, since they're made from plant fibers, I like to buy these more. And these are my favorite masks. I've been using these for a couple years now too. And yeah, same thing. Lose your face very moisturized. I use these after I do all my skincare and just throw a sheet mask on top. My favorite sheet mask. <laughs> Next up, we have the Tony Moly Taco Pore Strip Mask. Looks like this. This is how the mask actually looks. So it goes from here all the way down and spreads out like that. I like to do these one to two times a month just to get all the extra gunk on my nose. These are actually really good. These are the best pore strips I've found so far that aren't by Biore. Yeah, these are really good. I like the pig one too. But these are super good. You can really like cut them in half. That's what. I like to do too. Next up we have the Cosrx Acne Pimple Acne Pimple Master Patch. This one is the 24 pack. They come in a little 
mm, like packaging like this, but the outer packaging looks like this. I got these from XL. I'll link these down below along with everything else. And these are just like the hero patches, but you get more in good different sizes. And they're cheaper. The hero patches are like $7 for what, 12 And these you get 24 for like $2. What is the camera doing? Okay. Yeah, I like these because they're cheaper and they do the exact same thing in good different sizes. Also, I like to cut the big ones into in half or into fours to get more use out of them. Yeah. I don't know if I, pref if I prefer these over the hero ones, but they do the same job and you get more. So, I have two masks. The first one is the Innisfree Pore Clay, Pore Clearing Clay Mask. This I got as a sample size as the four. This looks like this. Mm, this one has little volcanic clusters in it to help like to help with your pores. It's a wash off mask. I do like this one. I wouldn't recommend using this more than like once per week. It is kind of strong and does dry my skin, but it does. I feel like it helps clears it up when my skin is going through a rough time. So yeah, I do like to get little sample sizes or like a mini one for my needed. I like to have this on hand. So yeah, I do recommend this. I don't know if it's the best for your skin, but I like it. <laughs> Next up, we have the Fourth Ray Beauty Avocado Superfood Nourishing Mask. Why are these names so long? It's like this. This is another little sample size I got. This one, it smells like their avocado um, face milk, which I think it is just like a glorified face milk, if you will. Um, I like it. Left my face, as it says, very nourishing. I'm back to re to go look at it, and the reviews were kind of not the best. People were saying that it broke them out. I don't know. Also, I know this mask has a lot of fragrance in it. It is a wash out treatment, so that's fine. But I thought the I thought the fragrance was at the bottom. It's like at the top, so probably won't be repurchasing this. I have a better mask that I like, so yeah. Next up we have the Vanilla Clean and Zero Cleansing Balm. This is my favorite cleansing balm. This is the sample size, this is the travel size. I have the full size in my bathroom. It's another skincare product that's little but on the more expensive side, this, the full size is $27. But I do think it's worth it. It does last you a very long time. And it gets off all of your makeup. So I also recommend this. I love this and will continue to buy this. Next up, we have two cleansers. The first one we have is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. It looks like this. This is the full size. And I have the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. This is These are the two cleansers that I use. Mostly this one. I find this one helps if I'm breaking out or... My skin's just freaking out for some reason. This one helps more. This one's a nice gentle cleanser, so I do use, I use this one too if I can get my hands on it. This one costs more. This one is like $13 for this size. I think, or like 16 for the full size, which is 16 ounces. I think. <laughs> but yeah, I like both these cleansers. I prefer this one. This one is also really nice. This one kind of does dry my skin sometimes, so. I like this is better for summer when my skin's a little more I wouldn't say oily because it's still dry. <laughs> a little more oily, but still very dry. So yeah. Next up we have the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I got this as a replacement for the um the, the First Day Beauty. It's literally sitting right here. The First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Yeah, no, never again. I hated this so much. It did not moisturize my skin. It did not feel good it smelled okay it didn't really smell like anything but no never again i hate this moisturizer so much it wasn't good as a face moisturizer it wasn't good as a body moisturizer no <laughs> no no <laughs> next up we have a moisturizer that i actually love the first day beauty ultra repair cream this is one i use every single day no matter what season basically this is one of the only moisturizers that actually leaves my skin feeling hydrated yeah, I have the travel size. Yeah, I have the, the travel size, which is 16 ounces. The full size, I think, just went up. So it's a little over $32, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, totally worth it. I buy both sizes. I usually buy the, this size because this is the size they, they usually have in stock and it fits in my, in my drawer. <laughs> but yeah, either size is good. Next up, we have a product you guys are probably sick of me talking about. This is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Like this, I have two bottles. Actually, it would have been three, and my new my bottle I have now has like that much in there. So, yeah, cool. This is my favorite serum. Um, 
it's cheap effective like I always say yeah just a simple serum I will also recommend this this and the first everybody moisturizer those are my holy girls so next up we have makeup I'm gonna be talking about two products that I'm gonna be decluttering because they're they were almost used up but they're also very old and they both smell bad the first one we have is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion this is the travel size which if you're gonna get this I do recommend getting this size because I don't know if I can use up well me personally I don't know if I can use up the full size within the six month time frame that you're supposed to use it in and yeah energy does a really nice job I feel like this product is very overhyped but it does the job so I will be repurchasing another one eventually but yes I do recommend this next up the other product I'm decluttering because it smells bad <laughs> is the KVD the KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crucifix. It looks like this. There's nothing much in here. It's just, it smells really bad. <laughs> but yeah, I wore this in a bunch of videos. Um, it's a really nice matte lipstick. I still love matte lipsticks. If you need a really good brown matte lipstick, I should swatch it. Looks like that. You guys need a really good matte brown lipstick. I love this one. It reminds me of the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in Cocoa, kind of. Just the matte version. Yeah. Next up, we have a mini size of the NARS lip balm. I think this is in the shade Orgasm. I can't see. Oh, it's in the shade Laguna. It's like, this looks like this. I think this was the Sephora birthday gift from last year. Um, this is a very nice lip balm. I think the full size is like $44. It's not worth $44. Do not, <laughs> do not buy this for $44. It's, it's a nice lip balm. It is not worth $44. That's it. It's just a basic lip balm Nar that NARS is upcharging for. Next up, I have the NYX Glitter Gold Eyeliner Liquid Liner in the shade Quartzy. It looks like this. You guys seem to use it in a bunch of videos, too. Um, as you can tell from my, my brush, is very um, out of shape. <laughs> uh, I love these. I don't know. Well, people always say these are a dupe for the Urban Decay ones, which I don't remember. I had an Urban Decay one that can tie a stole. Actually, I think I gave it to her because she kept she, she kept it too long. I'm like, you know what? Just keep it. So maybe I should purchase both of these. But yeah, this one is a very good liner. I think they still make these. I hope they still make these. If they don't make these, then get the Urban Decay ones. They are more expensive, but they both get the job done. Yeah, I really like these. I love to get these in more shades. I did get one another shade, the blue one. That one was not good. I don't know what happened. I think I just got a bad one. Most of the time these are very good glitter liner if you don't need type of like detail work or any cut creases, which I normally do. That's what I usually use these for. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Next up we have the Kiss Lash Glue. Nothing to see here, just my favorite la lash glue that you guys have probably seen in every single Ulta haul that I've ever done, so yeah. Next up we have the NYX, the Glue Brow brow gel I even cut it open to get the rest of it out this is one of the best clear brow gels that I've tried I will be I'm using the Canmay heavy rotation brow gel right now so after I use that one I probably will repurchase this one this one is so good I haven't tried their new tinted one the reviews look kind of bad but the clear one get get this one next up we have another sample this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara which I know we have all seen before it looks like this To be fair, this mascara is kind of worth the hype. It is a good mascara. It's just overpriced. No one needs to pay almost $30 for this. That's only going to last you, what, three months? Or are you supposed to change mascaras every three months? I'm sorry, this doesn't last six months, but no. It's, mm, it's not worth it, almost $30. Now if I get another free sample, okay, but I don't think I would ever pay $30 for this mascara. The last four items we have... This one, I can't even get the top off. This is the Wet n Wild. Should I have a full size? This. This is the Wet n Wild Co Liner in the shade Simma Brown. Now, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what mine looks like. So, yeah, these are a dollar. I used to get them at Dollar Tree. I have not been able to find them for the past year. So, I, I got mine from Target. I, I brought like four of them because they're only a dollar and. It's actually an eyeliner, but it's one of the best liners. So, I haven't found anything to replace this. 
So I'm gonna keep buying my dollar eyeliner. Next up I have the Neogen Extra Tinted Edge Liner. It is a liquid liner. The packaging looks like this. But what makes this one special is the tip. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can focus. This is what the liner looks like. And as you can tell, it's pointed. So it's easier to do your wing with. And it's got like a very straight line. Only thing about it, you can tell mine has like a little ball on it. When that starts to happen, it's kind of hard. and starts to drag like any eyeliner. Besides that, I really do like it. Would I repurchase this? Probably, yeah. <laughs> We have the Elf Hydro Camel Concealer in the shade Rich Cocoa. It looks like I can't even scrape any more out of this until mine is empty. I actually have a backup that I'm using. And this is my favorite drugstore concealer. It's very hydrating. It's cheap. They have a great shade range. Yeah, I really love this concealer. And I have repurchased it and I will continue to repurchase. Next up we have the Lottie London Art Rival Brow Pencil. In the shade brown i got this in my walmart box the last one um um this was the wrong shade to be fair to be fair it was the wrong shade i don't know how this brow pencil performed because every time i would go to make a single line it would break it literally just boop i'm like okay <laughs> so based on that i don't think it's very good because it kept breaking no matter how much pressure or how much pressure I didn't put on it, it just snapped. So yeah, don't like this product, don't recommend. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you guys want to check out our makeup brand, I'm wearing our Glam Gloss today in the shade Kaylee. If you guys want to check that out or any of our books or our social media, all that will be linked down below. And yeah, bye guys!